Hi guys! Welcome to my channel. So, our today's video, I, I am going to show you how you are going to apply or report your marriage in the United States. So, I am going to report my marriage in Chicago. So, I have here, this is the requirements that I am going to provide and I will walk you through step by step on how you are going to get or um, compile all your documents okay let's begin the first thing you need to do is to search for the form so just type report of marriage in chicago Okay, so you can just type uh, where, what state do you live. So I live in uh, near Chicago, so I'm gonna mail my documents in Chicago. So here you can see where are the states that covered or you can send your uh, report of marriage application in this consulate okay so illinois indiana iowa kansas michigan minnesota missouri nebraska north dakota ohio south dakota wisconsin so if you are in this state you can send or apply or report your marriage through um chicago philippine Cons consulate in chicago Okay, so let's go back here. So when you search the PDF or the form, just type like what I've typed before. So report of marriage in Chicago and it will pop up this one. So click that. Okay, and it will, it takes you straight to the form. So here this is edited. So when you have this PDF, you can just type in all the informations needed okay and here on page two you can see all the requirements needed so uh, this is in chicago okay uh, other states they do have different requirements because when i've checked like in washington they do have different requirements so make it sure that you you are going to provide all the requirements needed okay so here another one is request signed by the parties and i'm gonna show you later how you are going to do this because i made a sample which is this one okay so i made this form here for you if you would like to make a copy of this and this is already summarized I summarize okay so you can just put here your name your address your email and your phone number because the, those are the required informations okay information okay and here you are going to put the address of the philippine consulate general in chicago illinois Next is I'm gonna zoom a little bit. Hi, come on, so that you can see. Okay, so here you can see. Don't forget to put your date when you are going to send it, or when you are going to prepare it. And then here on the top, you are going to put report of marriage contracted abroad. And then yeah so this is here in chicago and i added a, a divorce documents if your spouse or your husband's uh, divorced or got married before okay and here don't forget to put your both name and sign it so that's gonna be me okay Filipina wife and then this one is gonna be my husband's 
my husband name and signature okay so don't forget to write your name first and then signature on the bottom okay i'm gonna put a link or um, a screenshot of this so that you can uh, copy it okay if you want okay and then next requirements is four originals of duly accomplished report of marriage forms okay so that is this one okay so you need to fill in all your information here and don't forget that you need to put your maiden information meaning to say when you are still single no single ka pa okay wag mo munang ilalagay yung apelyido ng husband mo dito okay don't uh, put your husband's uh, family name here so you need to input your name before marriage Okay, and here, yeah, and then don't forget to put your date of birth. So there is, there is an example here how you are going to put your date of birth, even the place of birth. So you need to follow the steps here or the examples, example. Okay, civil status, when you were, if you, if your husband is, was single during the time divorce you need to write it on and then you as a wife during your before your marriage so if you were single before then write it on if you are do widowed or widow or um, divorce write it on okay and here this is it when um, you can see this um, on your birth certificate and here also for wife okay religion okay. <laughs> i'm just like i'm um showing it to you step by step and blank by blank okay anyway here details of foreign marriage so dito yan here in u.s or uh, if you were married in the philippines or other countries Okay, and here, so make it sure, be careful when you are uh, putting your information here. So this is your father's full name. So yung father ng husband mo, your father's husband, husband's name. Okay, and here wives. Okay. So, yung wife, yung father niya, and then citizenship, and yung mother mo, yung mom mo, when she was single. Okay. So, don't put the name of um, your father's a name here when you're putting the... Um, when you are putting the information of your mom's maiden name. Okay, here, don't forget to put your signature. Okay, husband, wife. And then date. Okay, here, so when it comes to notarial authority, you can do this at your bank. So if you are a member or... Um, that's your personal bank company so uh, you don't need to pay but if not they are going to charge you but we did in our uh, local bank okay so it was free okay and here yeah so you got you need to print this four copies okay next is Okay, we did that already and don't forget to notarize by a local notary so you can do this at your bank and then here one original or certified true copy 
and four photocopies of marriage certificate from the con county clerk office okay so if you do have still your original copy then you can put that or you can just request for a certified true copy at your uh, county clerk office mm -hmm. and it says here that they're gonna uh, return it original or uh, CTC will be returned cool okay number four is four photocopies each of both spouses passports okay so both of you you are going to make a photocopy of your passports okay so in total it's gonna be eight okay so so in my case my passport is um expired <laughs> that's why i need to hurry up and file this report of marriage so that i can apply for uh, so that i can renew my passport and i am going to make another video of that okay next is here okay number five a four photocopy of the proof of philippine citizenship of both spouse okay so i make a copy i made a copy of my green card so that is here it's a permanent residency okay or green card so i made four photocopies of that Number four is, and also um, my husband's uh, passport. Oh, it's already there. Okay, next is, next is four photocopies of each of both spouses' birth certificates. So that's going to be eight in total. Okay, don't send your original one because it's stated here that they just only need four copies okay next is number seven two originals and two photocopies of notarized affidavit of delayed registration okay so uh this is it okay so you can find this on page three okay so this is uh, under uh, pdf it's on the pdf so you can just print it and you can just do your handwritten because here you can't edit it there is no uh, editing part here okay and you can put here marriage because you are going to file for uh, you are going to report your marriage and then here write your name of course and then your your address put your address here and then here okay that i am the applicant of the delayed registration of marriage of okay i'm gonna check what did i put on that part okay so that's gonna be okay oh okay so here you are going to put the name of your um you or me okay the applicant and your husband's name okay so this is the application of both parties so uh the filipina and also the husband okay here number two okay so you are going to put the date of your marriage in Salugar, where did you held the uh, marriage or the ceremony? Okay. Okay, here number three is, okay, Philippines. 
Okay, because this is me, I am the one who's reporting it. So Philippines. And then here the reason for the busy delay of registering the birth of marriage is yeah, I put it busy working. Okay, so that's what I put here. Yeah, busy working. Okay, yeah, and then don't forget to signature it. Okay, I find signature. And then here the date of the notary public. Okay, they are the ones who are going to put the date. Okay, at your bank or wherever you're gonna uh, notarize it. Okay, so if you do have any questions on this part, feel free to leave a comment on the comment section below. Okay, and I'm gonna put the link of this form on the description. Okay, next, did we tackle everything? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, and here, as you can see, on page 8, so there's a mailing address here. Philippine Consulate General, 122 S uh, Michigan Avenue. Okay, and that's in Chicago. So, put that. So, I got two envelopes. And I already put the address. And there's a return envelope also uh, we don't have yet this time because tomorrow we are going to the post office and we are going to request for the uh, appropriate stamps or self uh, address return envelope so it's in here okay and here don't forget to make a money order payable to philippine consulate general so this is you can do this at your local bank okay don't write a check you need to go to your bank and then they're gonna uh, make or give you the money order okay and if your spouse or your husband was married before then you need to have your divorce um, degree or divorce documents okay so uh, yeah there you go okay so you need a photocopy one photocopy each or yeah just one if he was married once okay if widow or widower yeah, widow is for men. So, four photocopies of both the marriage certificate of the death, certi oh, death certificate of the deceased spouse. Okay. okay. Anyway, I'm gonna uh, put this link and you can just review it. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how i how am i going to compile it because it's nice to have it as organized organized as you can okay move to the next okay here we go so this is how am i going to organize my documents so uh, the first part is you need to have like your content so you do need to have this and you need to compile it in order so that they will not get confused or uh, they don't need to find it when they are going to uh, put your data or your record. Okay, so yeah, so this is this is the that's the check. That's my front page, and then this is my four original. Uh, report of marriage that is my one original marriage certificate and four photocopies and then this is my husband's uh, photocopies of passport and me 
and then photocopies of permanent residency of me photocopies of my birth certificate and my husband's birth certificate and then two original copies of um affidavit of support uh, of delayed registration and so this is original two originals and two photocopies and it's uh, notarized and then the last one is my husband's divorce documents and i got my two envelopes here so this is the envelope that uh, i am going to put all the documents it's quite big because i need to insert this inside and on the front front side it's i already put the return address Okay, and we are going to send this tomorrow. I am going to give you an update about the application. Okay, guys, so that's it. So that's how am I going to um, compile my documents and all the um, unnecessary information that I need to input and of course um if you do have any questions uh regarding this video or this report of marriage in um here in chicago so yeah don't be shy and i'm gonna give you updates when i receive any text or email from the philippine consulate in chicago okay guys so until next time see you bye don't forget to subscribe my channel share and like my video